Hello friends, in this video we will be discussing about lytic cycle. We know a kind of viruses that infects bacteria and replicates in them are called bacteriophages. And these bacteriophages replicate in two ways. It must be noted here, they have two types of life cycle. One is called lytic cycle and other being the lysogenic cycle. And here we will be discussing about lytic cycle. So let's get into it. First thing we note here, it is a process of viral reproduction. Second is here, it occurs in host cell, which we know is bacteria here. Third most important point to be noted here is, this cycle is driven only by virulent viruses. What I mean to say here is that viruses which reproduce via lytic cycle are called virulent viruses. And other viruses which make use of lysogenic cycle are called temperate viruses, they have the different mechanism while reproducing in a host cell. You can see in the diagram bacteriophages are of two types, virulent phages and temperate phages. Virulent bacteriophages are those that make use of lytic cycle. Say for example we have a T4 phage. On the other hand the temperate phages or the bacteriophages which make use of lysogenic cycle as well as lytic cycle are temperate phages. Either they go via lysogenic cycle or they choose the lytic cycle. They can use both the cycles but separately like we have in case of lambda phages. And the last important thing, these viral components which include its DNA and certain proteins are replicated by host machinery. They make use of host machinery, they overtake the host machinery and replicate in the host cell and destroy it ultimately. And this lytic cycle includes first attachment where a virus attaches itself to the host cell. After attachment there is a penetration of certain components from virus into the host cell. After penetration there is injection of genetic material of virus into the host cell. After injection this genetic material is replicated in the host cell by using the host machinery as already told you. After the replication, there is assembly and packaging of viral components which includes capsids and certain proteins and ultimately there is a cell lysis, cell degradation at the end of this cycle where these viruses are free to infect the other cells. Now let's see this life cycle in detail. First step is the attachment of virus towards host cell. We have a bacterial cell here and it has got its own DNA molecule. So in this step the virus lands on the host cell and attaches itself towards the bacterial cell wall by using its receptor binding protein. You can see in this diagram the receptor binding protein of viruses. They make use of it and this receptor binding protein interacts with OMPC that's O antigen core oligosaccharide lipid C. This is the bacterial cell wall component that interacts with receptor binding protein of bacteriophages and confirms binding. You can see in this diagram the bacteriophage which is T4 phage here that uses lytic cycle and it has got its viral DNA in its head and this viral DNA is to be inserted into the host bacterial cell for replication process. So in the next step we see the tail fibers flex and by this flex the base plate components gets penetrated into the cell wall and this T4 phage uses energy in this step and this energy comes from ATP present in tail. So this whole process is called penetration here. In the proceeding step the viral DNA from the head of this T4 forge gets transported, gets injected into the host cell by using the ATP present in the tail. So this whole process where from this viral DNA gets injected into the host cell by using the ATPs from the tail is called viral injection. After the viral injection, the next step proceeds with the hydrolyzation of host DNA into pieces. So the host DNA gets deformed, gets distracted into the pieces and the virus component that remains outside of the cell is termed as ghost because it's without the viral DNA. Keep this thing in mind, a key difference between lytic cycle and lysogenic cycle is that in lytic cycle the viral DNA exists as separate molecule and replicates separately from the host DNA. While as in 
lysogenic cycle the viral dna integrates with the host dna and exists as a prophage so this is the main difference between these two now after all these processes there comes the phase of replication and in this phase of replication there is a dna replication the biosynthesis of viral component that includes capsid tail tail fibers and other proteins which are used by this phage to make the complete t4 phage the replication is divided into three phases in the early phase enzyme involved modify the host dna replication by rna polymerase and in the middle phase the virus nucleic acid is produced and in the late phase the structural protein that is the viral component proteins are produced after replication there is maturation there is assembly and packaging of these viral components and we get the complete t4 matured phage and ultimately the final step of this cycle is the cell lysis in the cell lysis the phage produces lysine enzyme and which has a capability to break down bacterial cell wall and after the cell lysis the t4 phages are released to infect other bacterial cells this was all about lytic cycle i hope you like the video give it a thumbs up if you like it and also comment down into the comment section and do not forget to subscribe this channel